What's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I am gonna show you how to create a simple quiz application in Java using MySQL database with the help of NetBean IDE this may be useful in such case when you want to integrate quiz in your system so let us talk about the general quiz application in general quiz application and user select any answer of the question to send their answer to the database and then click the send button and then they click the uh, other button to check their submitted answer is either right or wrong so being a developer you have to imagine what operation can be done in order to perform such operation so before starting this tutorial you have to understand the basic concept of how we gonna do this project that means what is the logic behind this project so first of all we are going to create the ui part in ui, uh, UI part we are going to drag and drop one level one group box and four radio button and then two button one button for uh, submitting the answer and the other for checking the submitted answer and four radio button for uh, for option and level for displaying the question and then uh, we will create one database in mysql and this database will contain three table the one table is for storing the correct answer and the next one is for storing the user submitted answer and the last one is for storing either correct or incorrect value by comparing the user submitted answer and the correct answer so that the you uh, so that when the user click the check button we are going to retrieve this value and so in the message box and then finally we are going to write the code to achieve this task so let's do it first of all open the netbin id go to file click on new and then select java java application click next and give the name of the project quiz and click finish right click over it click on new and then click on jframe forms and then click finish now from here palette drag on label for uh, displaying the answer as i said earlier drag on group box and then drag for button and then to button now change the text of this level what is the height of mount Everest this is the question now from here property you can change the font size there you go now select each button and then go to property and change the button group to this one and then button group to similar process that's it now change the text of each button hit it for it nine it for it ten it for it eleven it for it now change the text submit answer and here goes check now we complete the designing part now uh, we are going to create the database for, uh, for this you need to have uh, install either warm server or jam server in your application so let me run this warm server i have installed the warm server Now open up a new browser 
now type localhost in the address bar of your browser and then click on php my admin and then click go and then click on new and type your database name grab a queen in the table s-u-b-m-i-t-t-e-d-n-s-w-e-r and the number of field will be two and then click oh, go here goes id and then here goes submit your answer select the data type barker id data type should be integer click type the length here goes like 100 and check this a yeah, underscore i auto increment for the id and then click go and then click save similar procedure for creating uh, in row table insert table and then two and then go id ans where goes tracker length train where goes 100 and then it should be auto incremented click go and then click save and then finally compare table like i say earlier so and then click go here goes id value barker length train there goes 100 with the incrementer and then click go click save now we have to insert the correct answer in the answer table so id is auto incrementer so we don't need to type it and then click go now we complete the part of uh, creating the database so go back to the uh, Nidbin ID and then go to source and over here declare some variable that is to connect our application to the database connection con is equal to null prepare statement pst is equal to null and then result set rs is equal to null and declare one variable that is store the value of each radio button string value press alt and enter press alt and enter and press alt and enter now go back to reasoning part and double click its radio button and there goes value is equal to 8848 and similar process there goes value is equal to 9848 value is equal to 10 8 for it value is equal to 11 8 for it that's it and go back to designing part and double click submit answer and there goes we are gonna use try and catch exception and then so first of all i'm going to write the query string submit query is equal to go back to browser and then select your submit insert table click sql and then click insert and then copy this 
section control b just remove this and also remove this id because id is authenticated we don't need to insert it manually and here goes question mark now we need to connect this application with the database so connection is equal to driver manager dot dot get connection here goes gdbc colon mysql colon localhost and then java quiz our database name is java quiz jdbc java database connectivity and then mysql and then localhost and then this one let me increase the font size so that you can clearly watch so i am going to 32 okay. so that you can clearly watch the code that all right and then here goes the root the no that means I have no password for my database. Uh, display some error. Catch session yes. GFS one pen dot so message dialog yes dot get message now here I'm going to prepare the statement PST is equal to con dot prepare statement and here goes submit query now PST dot set string and the property is one because here is only one value and the value is value you need to replace this and then we're going to execute this query pst dot execute update or you can use either execute update or execute query i am going to use execute update and the message box should be displayed to the user the option pen dot so message dialog this and here goes your and sorry submitted successfully now when the user click this submit button submit answer button when the uh, user click the submit answer button uh, we have to do one more thing that is compare the user submitted value with the correct answer and store either correct or incorrect value in the compatible so for this we are going to write the SQL query that is include the inner join of two table so let me write the SQL query and after writing the SQL query, I will explain string extract query is equal to select 
as you be MITTD submitter answer dot essay we are going to select the essay column of the submitter answer and then answer dot ENS answer column of the answer table from answer inner join what we are going to inner join is select essay from submitted answer order by id in descending order limit 1 is sub mitt the submitted answer on sub MITT it is submit your answer dot essay is equal to answer dot ans now I'm going to copy this query and I will show you copy and then go back to SQL and then execute it now what this query is telling to our database is select submitted answer dot essay means select the essay column of submitted answer and then ans column of the answer table and then we are going to inner join inner join what we are going to inner join is first of all we are going to select the submitted answer from submitted answer uh, table and then uh, this table is order in descending order that means the when the user submit the answer the last submitted answer uh, will uh, place in the first row of the table and the limit ones means only the first ones and then this what this condition tell us is if submitted answer dot essay is equal to answer dot ans means if submitted answer column value is equal to uh, answer column value then this query will execute something here if this uh, if the true value is equal if uh, the true value is not uh, equal then this query will uh, extract empty row so that's it uh, in this first part i will see you in the second part guys